Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to another one of my builds, my level 61 builds. But this one is not for the Micro, this is for the Gunzerker, as you can see. Now, the name of this build is called Bang 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 Bang. I Wait, did I say that three times? If so, it's Bang three times. N whatever, but okay. It's called that because if you know who Deadpool is, whenever he pulls out his two pistols... He's, and he starts shooting him, he yells bang, 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 bang. And this is basically a pistol build with also a lot in the rampage scale to keep you dual wielding pistols for a long time. Now, let's get let's get right into this. Okay. Of course you're gonna need gun zerking. That's uh self explanatory. Let's start over here. Now I have the legendary um Berserker class mod. So I just, I don't really put too much in these. I usually just put one and then four in the other or whatever. But here I think I put about three and three in each. And then plus that five, so I get eight. But uh, lock and loaded, reloading your gun gives you fire rate bonus for a short time. If you're using infinities, if you like, if you only rock infinities, this skill's probably useless to you. But me, I use a ton of different pistols, so it, it works for me. Especially with the unkept heralds, like right after you re reload them, you just shoot them out so fast, get a lot of damage out really fast. So, and plus, you know, pistols don't have like that that much ammo in their magazine, so you're gonna be reloading constantly. Might as well get fire rate out of that. And uh, quick draw, increase weapon swap speed and critical hit damage with all gun types. I like the swap speed; it's really nice. Cause if I want to like pull out my ruby and like slag then I could swap it back to my other gun really fast. You're gonna see that when I show you gameplay. I pull out the ruby a lot. Um, all I need is one. You don't really need this. Swapping weapons causes your next shot fire to deal bonus damage. I mean if you want go for it but I didn't put any here because I wanted to put five and I'm your huckleberry which increases the pistol damage by 15% and pistol reload speed by 15%. If you have that Jacobs class mod, uh, it has something to do, I can't remember what it's called, but if it gives you uh, pistol points, I believe in this one and this one. I know it gives you I'm your huckleberry, so you could get even more pistol damage and stuff out of that. So if you really, really want to just lay waste with pistols, that, that would probably be a good class mod to get. Uh, Divergent Likeness. When, when gun zerking with two guns of the same type, you deal bonus damage. When gun zerking with two different types of guns, you're, you gain bonus accuracy, which is awesome. Because if you're using two pistols, any two pistols, they're the same type, obviously, they're pistols, you could just do more damage. And that'll work with shotguns and everything, as long as they're the same type. And even if you're not, you get bonus accuracy, which is still pretty good. Now I put one in auto loader just because it was there. It's nice because you kill an enemy, it instantly reloads all the guns that you don't have equipped. So if I want to, if I go down and I'm like, and I have to reload my pistols, which wouldn't take long at all, but I could just switch to my other set of pistols and they're already be loaded and get up really quickly. Money shot. I like money shot because the last round fired from a magazine gains massive bonus damage. And with five, with four five in there with five in money shot you get up to 400 percent bonus damage as long as you have a magazine size of 10 which i usually have not with infinities i don't think this does anything with infinities but basically it's it's crazy because like i said before the pistols they don't have that much like bullets in the magazine it's not like dual wielding an assault rifle or shotgun, shotgun would sort of work. Shotgun works with this, but with like guns with like a low magazine size, like pistols and shotguns and sniper rifles, you're gonna. Well, maybe not sniper rifles, but you're gonna go through bullets pretty fast. So you're gonna get down to money shot rather quickly. And if you're completely out of ammo and you're gun zerking, you're gonna be like re regenerating like one at a time. So you shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, and you're basically using money shot over and over and over again. Uh, down, not out. You gun zerk while in fight for your life. There was one point on this, so I put it on there. It is very useful because you do double the damage while you're down since so you have double the gun, so it's easier to get out of fight for your life. Lay waste. Kill skill. 
killing an enemy gives you increased fire rate and critical hit damage while uh, with all guns for a short time. Now, with rampage over here, you're going to be killing people a lot. You're going to be want you're going to want to kill people a lot. So you're going to be constantly killing people. So you constantly get this this damage, and it's great. Now, uh, keep it piping hot. I didn't put anything in this because I already had enough over here, and I wanted uh, no kill like overkill. When you kill an enemy, you gain a bonus to gun damage equal to the amount of excess damage you dealt to the enemy you just killed. So basically, let's say the enemy's about to die, and you shoot him, and the shot will kill him, but the excess damage is whatever damage was not used to actually kill him and was left over. So you will deal that, plus the damage you're already going to deal, and on your next shot. So that's definitely useful. Especially, you know, with uncapped heroes, you're usually doing more damage than you need to, so... You can do even more than that. But now we're over in Rampage here. Inconceivable. Your shots have a chance to not consume ammo. The lower your health and shields, the greater the chance of free ammo. Which is awesome. Like, if I, if you guys saw my Hyperius fight, I was low on ammo. Well, I was low on health all the time. So my chance of free ammo went up. Straight up to 40%. And, uh... Filled to the brim increases magazine size with all weapon types. Also increases your ammo carrying capacity. You know, more ammo, more bullets. You know, I that sounds like a good deal to me. I only put one in this because I had a legendary. So I still get a decent 30% and 18%. Lasts longer. Increases gun zerking duration. With Rampage, you want to just gun zerk for as long as you can. And this gives you plus 15 seconds, which is really good. Uh, over here, increases your reload speed and melee damage. I didn't really need that. My reload speed was already pretty fast, and I don't really melee too much. Uh, steady as she goes. Reduces recoil with both guns while gun zerking. Additionally, each shot that hits an enemy has a chance to improve your accuracy with both guns, which is awesome. 80% recoil reduction. Your gun's not going to kick. And if you're using infinities, your gun's not going to kick at all. You're just going to be just mowing through everybody and the chance of improve accuracy is actually really good too especially with the infinities you want since they have a really weird spread with the infinity symbol you want the you want them to be as accurate as possible to get the most out of them five or six shots kill skill killing an enemy causes every shot fired to have a chance to add ammunition into the magazine instead of expending ammunition now four to five it's a 20% chance, 5 out of 5 would be a 25% chance, but that's still a pretty good chance. It's like a quarter. So, you know, free bullets, why not? Might as well, right? Double your fun. Throwing a grenade while gun zerking causes you to throw two grenades. The second grenade does not cost ammo, which is awesome. You're basically doubling the damage of your grenades. And if you have something like the meteor shower, <laughs> you could probably lag out your game. No, I don't know. It does make the game a little laggy, but you do a massive amount of damage. This is important. Yippee Kaye. Killing an enemy while gun zerking increases the amount of time you can gun zerk. Since you're going to be killing people non-stop, hopefully, but that's what you want to do, then you'll be adding a 3 seconds per kill, which is great. If you want that gun zerker achievement, this is, you definitely want like a lot of points in Rampage. Now get some. Shooting an enemy decreases the cooldown on gun zerking. This effect can only occur once every three seconds. The faster your, the faster you can cool down your gun zerking, especially what like while your gun zerking it cools down. And if you're cooling it down even faster, basically you go into gun zerk, kill a bunch of dudes, and by the time you're out, you already have gun zerk. You can pop right back. You'd never have to stop gun zerking. Let's get into the final point. Keep firing. While gun zerking, the longer you hold down the trigger, the faster your guns fire and the faster you reload. I don't think this works with the infinities. Because I'd be pretty overpowered. I, I, it may. I never notice. But it does work with other guns. Like with the lead storms, <laughs> you get some crazy fire rate out of that. Now, I do. I should have. I probably should have put like one in each of here. 
I could have probably taken some skills out of here or here and just put them in here since I have a legendary thing. But basically there's nothing in the skill tree. But that's basically it for this build. I'm going to show you some gameplay with some High Scarlet music playing. You know how I like High Scarlet in my videos. Go check them out. I have a link for them in the description. And uh, that's the build, guys. I hope you enjoy.